Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how a POV or persistence of vision LED display work and I will also show you how you can design your own LED POV display using some LEDs and an Arduino or a Vimos D1 Mini. I will be showing you how you can design your own circuit, how you can design and manufacture your PCB and I will show you how you can write your own message in your LED POV display. So, what exactly is POV? POV or persistence of vision is the property of our eyes of keep seeing something or an image of something even if that something was moved out of our sight. That is, our eyes sees the image of something for a fraction of a second even after the object is moved from our sight. In other words, that image persists in our eyes for a fraction of a second even after the object is moved. So basically, these LED displays make use of this principle to get an illusion of seeing actual letters by spinning an array of LEDs that are glowing in a specific pattern. We turn on LEDs and turn off LEDs in such a way that different glowing images overlap each other forming alphabets. Well, that sounds a bit complicated, right? Well, actually it's not. It's very easy to create your own LED POV displays. And there's one more thing. For projects like this, it's very important not to do this in breadboard because we'll be spinning the whole thing at very high speed. So if you are using loose connections, there is a very high chance that these components will get thrown off when you are spinning it. So for projects like this, it's always better to use a PCB. Let's take a look at the circuit. This is Altium PCB Designer. Altium is a PCB designer which can be used to create simple PCBs for hobby projects as well as complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. It's really easy to create our own PCBs using Altium. If you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you are really gonna love it. Altium subscription includes Altium 365 which lets you design, share and manufacture your projects everything in one place. Secure centralized cloud storage lets you share designs and ideas with teammates or clients. You can download and install the free trial version from the description down below. And if you are a student, you get 6 month full license absolutely free. So don't miss out. So basically this is the circuit that I drew in Altium PCB Designer. This includes all the components like the resistors, LED and the VMOS D1 Mini. If you want, you can replace this VMOS D1 Mini with smaller Arduinos like Arduino Pro Mini, Arduino Nano etc. I also added a 7805 voltage regulator which helped me to provide an input voltage between 7V to 35V in the input so that I can use a 9V battery or even a 12V lithium polymer battery without any issue. I also added an indicator LED that will let me know if something stopped working. Once the circuit was finished and tested, I designed a compact PCB using Altium where I can fix all the components neatly. Here you can see the routing is on all the four sides of the board which means it is a four layer PCB. In the previous video, I explained you how you can create your own four layer PCBs using Altium. If you are interested, make sure you check out that video first. Once you get the PCB, it's time for you to solder all the components. Place all the components in their respective places and solder them up. This will take more than 10 minutes. Before soldering Vimos D1 Mini, it is always better to solder female header pins to the PCB and then placing Vimos D1 Mini on top of it. This way, if the brains stop working, you can always replace it with a new one without desoldering. Now, connect the Arduino to your computer because it's time for coding. Now, for testing, let's write the word root set with our POV display. Now, Earlier I told you that we will be creating different alphabets by turning on and off LEDs in a particular pattern, right? Now, this is how we create this pattern. Now, if you take a look at this code, you can see that every alphabet has a different function. So each function makes the LED turn on and off in a particular pattern. Once we have all the functions ready for all the characters, we will be calling each characters one by one in the loop function. Now, once the code is uploaded, you will see the light starts to blink. Don't worry guys, it doesn't make any sense at the moment. It will make sense only when it starts rotating. At this point, you can fix a 9V battery to the PCB. Here, I have used a 12V DC motor to rotate LED strip PCB. You can attach the shaft of the motor to the PCB the way you like. What I did was, I took a dummy wheel shaft 
removed the shaft and connected the flat circular portion to the PCB using hot glue gun and connected the shaft of our motor directly to it. Make sure you are connecting the motor at a point where the weight balances off equally. Connect the battery to the motor so that it starts to spin. As the motor reaches its top speed, you will see amazing characters being displayed here. Here I have used a 100 RPM motor. One thing you can do here is, you can control the speed of the DC motor using a speed regulator or a motor driver IC using PWM. This will help you to regulate the speed if the motor RPM is high. I could have chosen Arduino Nano, Arduino Pro Mini and there are so many small Arduino boards, right? But why did I choose Wemos D1 Mini? Well, Wemos D1 Mini is small, flat, but it also has Wi-Fi connectivity. Well guys, this is just the first part of my project. In the next part, I will show you how you can control the speed of the motor and display custom messages sent from mobile phone or laptop via Wi-Fi without reprogramming. Okay guys, see you in the next video.